So Bill de Blasio may not be heading to Washington, but Hillary Clinton... Well, he is going to Washington. At least not perfectly. Just to right, but just for, do more just, of the stumping right, that he's right. doing. He's going to yeah. pack a bag, an overnight bag. Mm. Uh, Hillary Clinton is coming to Brooklyn. This is where her campaign HQ will be. Why? Why Why Brooklyn? Why does that make sense for a national campaign? Is, is, is Brooklyn up for grabs in the presidential race in 2016? Yeah. <laughs> No, absolutely not. I mean, it's, you know, the, Brooklyn is about as dyed in the wool blue as, as, you know, any other, you know, incredibly democratic counties. It's, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, you, you, there's a lot you can read into this. She wants to, you know, sort of embrace the cool factor. She wants, you know, to tap into uh, Brooklyn's sort of, you know, uh, stockpile of young, eager, you know, sort of liberally minded young people who might be interested in working for her campaign. Um, it's a hop, skip, and a jump away from Manhattan where all the money is. Mm -hmm. So in terms of fundraising, uh, it provides easy access uh, to, to you know, wealthy people who might be interested in donating to her campaign. But she's not going to be here at all those. You know, her campaign will be here, but the candidate herself, I don't think, will be here well, very infrequently, if at all. I mean, there's no votes to be had here. So. I mean, if anything, that Saturday Night Live skit indicated that she wants to be more humanized. And I think they chose Brooklyn over Westchester or even Manhattan because it has this like cool hip factor. Mm -hmm. And everything that appeals in Brooklyn to a politician can be found in the de Blasio administration's bid for the 2016 Democratic National Convention. The right. rhetoric surrounding that was Brooklyn's story is America's story. We're mm -hmm. diverse, we're young, we're hip. And so, I mean, that, if that's associated with Hillary, all the better for her. But what's funny and interesting, perhaps ironic, is that she chose the most Manhattan-esque the corner of Brooklyn. We're just going to say she's paying Manhattan or higher oh, than Manhattan yeah. prices to be Absolutely. in an outer borough, what used to be an outer borough. I mean, she was lucky to get that space as it was. I mean, there's like no office space at right, all. Right, you, you wrote about that. I about did, yeah. This was the and last, uh, last basically, gasp of office space. As far there. as I could tell, I mean, like they, their vacancy rate is like almost zero. So the fact that she was able to get that, she might have ended up in Long Island City for all we know, right. closer to your turf. Um, but... <laughs> You know, it's funny. I talked to a lot of business owners in and around that area, and they, and they, they seem to suggest, oh, it's going to be great. She's going to come in for a cup of coffee at Junior's and have these political meetings, and it's going to be so fantastic. And I, I had to resist the urge to say, oh, I don't really think that's going to happen, you guys. But, you know, it's nice to think that. What will happen? Like, what impact will Hillary HQ being in the neighborhood have on that area, on Brooklyn? I mean... What does a presidential headquarters look like in terms of number of people? Like, how, if, if you live next door, how will you know that Hillary 2016 is there versus, you know, like, a, I don't know, a gypsy cab company? Protesters? Yeah, you'll probably get a fair share of those. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it, it'll, it'll probably provide a bit of a boost to the local, the local businesses around there. More, more lunches being delivered, more Ubers being taken, uh, that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, I, 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 and I, again, I think it's, it helps Brooklyn's brand. I mean, you uh, want to talk about some of the stuff that, like, Marty Markowitz tried to get rolling and now that Eric Adams is trying to do, too, create Brooklyn into this, like, global brand um, that, you know, has some sort of appeal beyond just the five boroughs. Is, you know, having Hillary here, I think, definitely does that. And it's a consolation prize. We didn't get the Democratic National Convention. We got Hillary's HQ instead. That's a good way to think about it. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, it, so many people write about Hillary's wardrobe. I wonder if she'll ever be wearing like Brooklyn Industries, or Brooklyn <laughs> Zoo. We'll have to like, watch for that. that yeah. out. <laughs> Give her more street cred. And the neighborhood Chipotle's are probably on alert oh, that yes, she's coming. They are. Not They're... burning tips, but it's interesting because obviously, you know, New York City politics has been uh, sort of uh, reoriented around a Brooklyn uh, point since Bill De Blasio became mayor, and so now Hillary is kind of moving in. I mean, I wonder if they can like go to the YMCA together and bang a few out or, I mean, so does, does this sort of her arriving here in Bill de Blasio's territory, does this um, amplify the question of whether he's going to back her or not? Is this, you know, is she, is she cutting in his territory? Um, I don't think so. There's plenty of room in Brooklyn, but you're right. The, like the political center of power is slowly moving toward Brooklyn, you know, especially let's say black political power used to be in Harlem. Now it's in Brooklyn. It's more yeah. spread out in Brooklyn. Um, we have Chuck Schumer, who's like born and raised in Brooklyn, I believe. Definitely lives there, lived there almost all his life, if not all his life. But he's poised to be the Democratic leader of the Senate, and he has Brooklyn to his name. Mm -hmm. And now there's Tish James's Brooklyn, Bill de Blasio's Brooklyn. Who is in Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. 
I live in Brooklyn. Well, that, I mean, that's it right there. <laughs> that, that was the tipping point moment. No, but I think that's a, that's a great point, and, and, and it's something to, to be considered. You know, what, you know, what does, you know, what does the borough offer besides just, you know, sort of the branding aspects to it, and obviously, you know, it, it can become a place that, you know, is, it, you sort of provides a location for movers and shakers and power brokers to come and, you know, sort of make their deals. So mm -hmm. it's definitely important. Mm -hmm.